welcome back to my channel. It is that romantic time of the year again, and I wanted to create this bold, fun Valentine's date night look for you so you can stand out in the crowd when you go out on your date with your honey, your boo, your love. <laughs> I'm using the iconic Valentine's Day colors of reds and pinks on my eyes, and I paired it with a really nice nude pink lip. And side note, I feel like Valentine's Day is a little bit too commercialized and gimmicky. I don't feel like you have to wait until February 14th to show that special someone that you love them. But I digress. I love putting together date night looks, especially ones as bold as this because I always love standing out among the rest when I go out. So this will definitely give you some attention. <laughs> so if you want to see how I got this really fun Valentine's Day look, just keep on watching. I was on a hunt at Michael's to look for a Valentine's Day inspired headband and all I could find was this. So I think it's good enough. I mean, roses, Valentine's Day, I mean, it goes together, right? This is giving me Frida Kahlo vibes, doesn't it? I mean, it's uncanny, the resemblance. See? Oh, just like her. That's the unibrow, that's all I need. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer so that we can get started on the eyes because like always, I love to do my eyes first. First, we're starting off with our eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Browers in the color medium brown. to go in different directions so but I'm actually going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel to give me a little bit more tint and also control those wacky eyebrow hairs now we're going to prime our eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden You want this look to last all night, so don't be afraid to slather on that primer. Usually I place the tape right in the outer corner up, but this time I'm leaving a little bit of a gap in the lower lash line because we're gonna put some eyeshadow down there and I wanna be able to have like the color continue on to the lower lash line from the top of our eyelids. Now I wanted my eye look to be a little bit more special since it's Valentine's Day. So I got these really cute holographic stickers from Michaels. And I'm gonna use the really, really, really tiny ones to place right along my crease to kind of do like a, like a line of hearts. So it'll be like a winged heart cut crease kind of look. I thought it would look really cool. So we're gonna place that on now before we place any eyeshadow on. Now I'm gonna take a good pair of tweezers. These are really pointy end tweezers, and I think these will work best. And you're gonna go into your stickers, and you're gonna pick out the very, the smallest ones they have, and place it all along your crease. Or right above the crease, I should say, because I have hooded eyes, so if I put it right on the crease, it's gonna, my eyelid is gonna flop over, so. I'm just going to place the first heart right there. I'm actually using two palettes. The first one I'm using is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. This recently came out, I would say four, four, three months ago, three or four months ago. I could be completely wrong, but I know it's a really, really new uh, naked palette. And the cool thing about this palette is it has all types of red shades and pink shades, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're going to be placing the eyeshadows right on top of the heart stickers, so afterwards we'll remove them and have a row of beautiful hearts. The first shade I'm going into is the color Feels, 
which is a nice mauve type of color and this will serve as our transition shade. Since we're placing the eyeshadows right on top of the stickers, you want to be careful. You don't want to swipe too much or you remove the stickers. So I would kind of like dab it a little bit and then very softly, very, very softly blend it in. Next, we're going into the shade Bing and mixing it in with the shade Devilish. off the excess and just put this in our crease the second palette we're going to be using is the violet boss pro holy grail palette i received this in my boxy charm in december and it's a gorgeous palette and it has the perfect shade red that we need so I'm going into the shade Wine and Dine. And I'm placing this right in the crease area. Now I really want to deepen that outer V, so I'm going into the shade Teddy Bear. And I'm placing it right in the outer V. Next, I'm going into the shade Cranberry Splash with a flash shader brush. And I'm placing it in the outer two thirds of the eyelid. Now we're on to the fun part, the glitter. I mean, what's Valentine's Day without a little bit of glitter? Am I right? <laughs> I'm going to be using the new Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Tulip Twinkle, which is a beautiful pink color with gold shimmer in it. It's so pretty. So we're going to take it and put it right in that inner eyelid area. This is such a gorgeous shade. I never thought I would like pink eyeshadow, but this is beautiful. I think all the gold glitter gives it an extra touch, a little, little oomph to the eyeshadow. Now I'm going back into the shade Teddy Bear and just kind of help blend that shimmery eyeshadow to the rest of the look so there's no harsh lines. Now we're going to tight line with the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color blacker. Just so our eyelashes appear thicker. Next I'm going to do wing eyeliner with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. Intense black. And this is my favorite eyeliner. So I'm just going to line the top. And obviously create a wing because, you know, I love my wing eyeliner. <laughs> I'm not going to make this wing too thick because I want the eyeshadows to shine more and not be overtaken by the eyeliner.
Next, I'm gonna take the eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. Now it's mascara time. So I'm taking my two favorite mascaras, the Benefit Roller Lash and the Maybelline Defino Lash Volume Mascaras. And I'm gonna layer them up. First, I'm going in with the Maybelline Defino Lash. This is my absolute favorite waterproof mascara. And I'm so sad because now it's getting harder and harder to find these online since they've been discontinued for a couple of years now. A good trick to put on mascara without getting some mascara on your eyelid is to look down. And that way the eyelash is not really touching your eyelid. So I'm going to put on a few coats of roll lash mascara. Now I usually don't put on fake eyelashes because I like to rock my natural lashes, but since it's a special occasion, it's Valentine's Day, why not? I'm using the Ardell 172 Natural Lashes. I really like these eyelashes because they're not too fake looking. The hair is kind of crisscrossed and just makes it look like natural lashes. And they're not too long. Some eyelashes are super long and I feel like I'm hitting my eyebrow with them when I blink. <laughs> so these are the perfect length. So I'm going to take the eyelash with a tweezer and I'm going to apply the duo eyelash glue all along the band. Now we're just going to wait a couple of seconds so the glue gets tacky before we apply it on. Okay, so now we're gonna pop in the eyelash and we wanna get as close to the natural lash line as possible. If you feel more comfortable using your fingers, go ahead and use your fingers. Now I'm taking a waterproof eyeliner from Sephora in the color Strawberry Macaroon, which is a really nice baby pink color, and I'm placing it right in the waterline. I definitely want my waterline to be very bright because we're going to be placing darker colors in the in the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, we're gonna go into the Urban Decay Sherry Palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade Privacy, which is chocolate brown. And we're gonna kind of mimic what we did on the top part of our eyelid. So I'm gonna put the chocolate brown right underneath the lower lash line in the first quarter of it. Now we're gonna take the shade Young Love and we're gonna place that in the rest of the lower lash line. And just kind of blend it in with that dark chocolate brown. Now to finish the lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna define that bottom, those bottom lashes. My bottom lashes are pretty long so I really like to layer on that mascara to kind of balance out the big lashes on top. So now it's the fun part where we remove those heart stickers and see what we have left. You want to take your little tweezer and just carefully remove each sticker. Thank you. 
That looks so cool. It's like a row heart. <laughs> So to complete the eye look, I'm going to be using the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Perlina, which is a beautiful opal white type of color. And I'm going to place this right in the inner corner. If you want, you can take a little brush like this one to kind of disperse the color a little bit more. So now we're going to finish the rest of the face. First I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish Thick Foundation in the color Warm Ivory. My Holy Grail Foundation. I'm just going to be placing that all over. By the way, if you guys ever hear any type of buzzing or some type of feedback type of noise, that's my hearing aids. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes when like my hair brushes against my hearing aid or something, it just makes that noise. Now I'm blending in my foundation with the Tarte foundation brush. I have a little friend here named Peter, Peter the Pimple. So I'm gonna cover him with the <laughs> with the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer. And I think this is the color light medium. Yeah, I, I have more than one friend. Peter has friends all over. So I'm gonna <laughs> just dot this all over my blemishes and imperfections. And I'm just gonna dab that in. Now I want a little bit more color to my cheeks, a little bit more definition. So I'm going to bronze my face with the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. And it looks like this. I'm placing the bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks with this fluffy Real Techniques brush. Just to give me a little bit more color. Because right now we're in a smack dab in the middle of winter and I cannot go outside and tan. <laughs> Next is blush. So I'm using the NARS blush in the color Seduction. And I know what you're thinking. Boy, is this a bright berry blush. <laughs> but if you just use a light hand with it, it is beautiful. It gives you that just in from the cold type of look. Is beautiful. So you want to dab off the excess. And just place a little bit right on your cheeks. Right above that bronzer. Now on to my favorite part, which is highlighter. I'm going to com be combining two different highlighters because I want to have like a pinky, peachy glow. So I'm taking the Smashbox Petal Metal Highlighter. How gorgeous is this packaging? It's beautiful. And also the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in the color Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell, which is a really pretty baby pink color. Oh, I didn't show you the Smashbox one. This one is like a rose gold highlighter. I don't think the camera really does it justice because it is beautiful, beautiful rose gold. 
So these two in combination are magic. So first, I'm going into the Smashbox one. Just swirling my brush in there, get as much pigment as possible. I'm putting that right in the high points of my cheek. This gives me a rose gold slash pink highlight. Now before I place the second highlighter, I want to show you a cool little technique. If you apply some setting spray before you apply your highlighter or you know in between if you combine two different highlighters like I'm doing right now, it will intensify the highlight. And I'm going to be spraying it all over my face but mostly on the parts where I'm going to be applying the highlight. And this will just set our makeup, but also intensify our highlight. So now, right away, you want to go into your second highlighter. I'm going into the Becca one. And while your skin is still damp, you're going to place that highlighter on. And as you can see, it really intensifies that highlight. So we finally reached the end of our look and the last thing we have left to do is apply our lip color. I have two options right here. I have a red lipstick from Pat McGrath in the color Elson, which is a nice, beautiful blue-red color. And then I also have this Milani lipstick in the color Matte Blissful, which is a beautiful muted pink color. Now I would suggest if you're doing such a bold look on your eyes, you want to balance it out with more nude lipstick, which is why I would choose uh, Matte Blissful. But you know, if you just want to go all out there and just really go bold all over, <laughs> definitely use a red lipstick like the Elson lipstick from Pat McGrath. I'm going to be showing you both. First let's start off with the red lipstick. It's a beautiful red color and it really complements the eye look. But personally, I'd rather go more of a nude color because I have such a bold look in my eye and I just don't want it to be like bold, bold. Usually when you do any type of makeup look, if you're gonna go this bold on your lips, you wanna have a more neutral eye and the opposite is true also. If you have a very bold eye like I just did today, you wanna go with a more neutral look to kind of balance things out. But honestly, I'm not hating this too much. <laughs> it's a beautiful blue-red color and it really goes with the red in our eyeshadow. So if you're dead set on having some red lips on Valentine's Day, I would definitely go with this shade. Now I'm going in with the second lips option which is Matte Blissful from Milani. And this is the perfect complement to this eye look. Senorita, senorita, I want a margarita. That's what this shirt makes me feel like. Like I'm going to Mexico. A margarita. <laughs> and 
and I paired it with a nice nude pink lip on my lips. Nude pink lip on my lips. <laughs> That's redundant. <laughs> and I wanted to use these iconic Valentine's Day colors of reds and pinks and glitter and <laughs> it's just blank. <laughs> I look just like Frida Kahlo. I can't say Kahlo without saying Kahlo. I want to say Carlo. Yeah! Carlo? Frida Kahlo. <laughs> Yep, that's what I look like right now. That's, this is what the headband gave me. It gave me Frida Kahlo vibes. Oh, <laughs> on the floor. What did I draw? Oh, yeah. Everything, like blended. always. <laughs> so, let's zoom in. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, that's as zoomed in as I can go. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be using the new Stila -like Glitter and Glow liquid lipstick. Oh my god, it's not a lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was my stomach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a symphony of stomach noises here. <laughs> Digestion. Digestion. <laughs> Okay, you ready? 